evening and welcome to the Toronto Debating Society on Tuesday, October the 25th, 2011. Today we have our mini debate marathon. Our first topic of the evening is be it resolved that pizza is more satisfying than salad. The Prime Minister today is Michael for the motion. Please help me to welcome. Well, I hope my 43 seconds of preparation pays off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who amongst you doesn't agree that pizza is more satisfying? This is a rhetorical question. Um, pizza is more satisfying than salad. Ladies and gentlemen, I argue in three. One, the gastronomic considerations. Two, the social aspects. And three, the marketplace proof. Let's talk about the gastronomical satisfaction. You know what I mean. <laughs> Think of crispy pizza dough uh, coming out of the oven. Uh, gooey melted mozzarella cheese and perhaps a few others. Tangy tomato sauce. Uh, spicy pepperoni, mesh mushrooms, other wonderful combining and a, and, a, and a beautiful taste sensation. Who amongst you isn't watering <laughs> in the mouth right now? Now, let's cast your mind on a salad right out of that fridge, cold and some watery, fat laden dressing. Which one makes your mouth water? Does that mean I only have a minute to go? <clears throat> yep, one minute left. Oh. Okay, well, you all know about the taste. I don't even have to go anywhere. Let's go to the second aspect. <laughs> When's the last time you got together, watched the Great Cup, and ordered in a salad? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we all know the social components. When we want to be satisfied socially, we combine that with the pizza. Um, the going out for a pizza with friends, ordering it in. Uh, it's a social aspect uh, that you cannot deny. There are no social um, uh, counterparts in the salad world. You don't phone up uh, and, and have a salad delivered to your house, ladies and gentlemen. The social binding effects of pizza are undeniable. And let's, of course, as my final point, look at the financial. Uh, if something is satisfying, people buy it, and if they want to buy it, there's a marketplace. There's money there. Ladies and gentlemen, when's the last time you dialed the uh, salad equivalent of 767? Am I done? <laughs> says that we should be healthy mentally, physically, and socially, but what's more important than social well-being is your mental <coughs> well-being. I assert that uh, anyone ordering from a restaurant worldwide, never mind in North America, is mentally ill. They grow the crops for us, they harvest the crops, and they put them in distribution centers such as Loblaws, and No Frills, and uh, Price Chopper. And then on top of that, we want them to cook it for us. So. Uh, I refute that uh, the social aspect should be important, uh, the mental aspect should be important. We should be uh, self-sustaining. If we want to be self-sustaining, well, then we can't go buying pizza from Pizza Pizza or in a, any other fast food joint. On top of that, flour products are bad for you. Flour products worldwide cause dyspnea, shortness of breath. So if you're an athlete, uh, professional Olympic, you can't be consuming any flour products, so that means we just throw the pizza right out the door. Same with all that pepperoni and cheese and all the sodium in it. Who wants to die of a stroke? We're here to live to 100. Not to the age of 80, then you add sausage. I mean, your blood pressure's just skyrocketed after that pizza. And then there's oil on the uh, bottom mud uh, between the uh, pan and the flour. Well, that's just gonna cause you a stroke because obviously they're not gonna use whale or duck fat in uh, two-for-one pizza or Pizza Hut. Um, if anything, we should be on strike against all these pizza establishments in the municipalities across North America. With a salad, you're getting less calories. You're getting healthy vitamins, A, C. You can add in uh, fruit, which contains sugar, into your salad, uh, strawberries, apricots, to make it more flavorful. You don't have to pour in any of those uh, homemade salad dressings. Of course, if we're going to be self-sustaining, according to the United Nations, we are do-it-yourselfers. 
in any and every area. <coughs> and of course, our fat intake should be from nuts and meat and milk. You know, we, as I said, we've got that number 100 locked down in place. We're, uh, you know, thinking about it on a daily basis. So, um, I say that uh, pizza is not more satisfying than salad. Pizza is your uh, busy person's option uh, when they don't have time, when they're just uh, got a to-do agenda because they're most probably coded mentally ill on the computer and they don't know it. <laughs> so they're so busy in their own life that they're ordering out from restaurants. Um, and salad, uh, nothing like it. Um, thank you. Thank you, Astrid Allen. And now to finalize the debate for one minute, Michael. Nothing like it? I'm not really sure in a debate about the satisfying aspects of pizza if the World Health Organization is really an organization whose opinion I value on this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the mental well-being. You want to feel good mentally, you bite into a pizza, not a, not a stale cucumber. We're talking about self-sufficiency. My opponent is talking about self-sufficiency. We are not self-sufficient in, in, in um, vegetables for about 10 months of the year. We are totally dependent on other countries. So to talk about salad and self-sufficiency in the same sentence is the, the product of a mind that I think has had too much salad and not enough sustenance. <laughs> um, and ladies and gentlemen, to talk about a well-being, a mental well-being, again, to sum up, and, um, and to, to quote the World Health Organization as an authority on satisfaction is like quoting Mayor uh, Ford on dieting. Thank you very much. <laughs> Now we're going to vote on the motion by popular vote. So if you can raise your hands for the motion, 10. And against the motion, 4. So the winner is Michael for the motion.